me backtrack for just a minute here. Um, you you mentioned it earlier. Your you you and Patrick you and Patrick were working on a uh, Halloween three screenplay <laughs> that was supposed to be a direct follow up to Rob Zombie's Halloween two. To which my question is, how the hell are you going to follow up Rob Zombie's Halloween two? But um, yeah, tell us a little bit about that project because that was that was another one that was all over the horror websites for a long time. And then it just kind of disappeared. It was a huge, huge, huge regret because we had, um, Bob had reached out to us uh, quite early. And I think uh, Rob was in, was in the shooting. And um, he reached out to us and said, could you start thinking about the sequel? And uh, the sequel to, to Rob's movie. And so what we did was we planned it and look, it's nothing against Rob. Rob created a very unique, very interesting take on Halloween. Um, it's not the take I would have done, just like he probably wouldn't have put Jason in space. And so, and 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 that's great. I like that every, you know, it, Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween doesn't mess up John Carpenter's Halloween. It's still there. So, you know, you can experience both. And I did experience both. But what we were going to do was take it back to the shape. So the first 30 minutes of our screenplay was basically um, opens on the end of Rob's movie. And what ends up happening is when you think uh, Jason is killing uh, Loomis, it's actually her killing Loomis. And he, and when she realizes it, he slips the mask over her head. She walks outside, she pulls the mask off and the world goes into 3d because we were going to do it as a 3d movie. And then the next 20 minutes are this ending to Rob zombies movie it's it's tyler main it's this big hulking t-rex going after everybody and at the end of that sequence where all these people die and it's lots of blood and guts because that's what we like in the horror genre um at the end of that uh tyler main is on fire kirk is melting into his face and he fall he goes off a, he's in an ambulance and he goes off a, a cliff into a, a, a big you know, off of a dam and falls and, you know, he's burning. And so that's the last we've seen. The next time we see him, we're in a, you know, one of the pop-up Halloween stores and you see this kid with the Kirk mask. And he's like, what are we doing with this thing? There's only one left. And the guy's like, just leave it on the shelf. Somebody will buy it. Puts it on the shelf and he turns and there's this figure over him. And then, you know, he gets killed. And then I think we had him killed with the, with the rear view mirror where images, you know, are closer than they appear. And he's having the crap because in 3d, that looked really cool. Mm. And then, uh, and then, you know, you just see the hand come in and grab the mask. And so the next time we see the shape, it's the shape, but it's Tyler main. So it's like way up here, but it's still, you know, it's, he's the dick again. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's not the T-Rex breaking your door. He's smart about it. He's so anyway, that was the, that was the whole thing. We, uh, we had Tom Atkins, of course, he would be playing a doctor at a, at a psych ward because that's where and we would have brought back. Um, um, I'm in a brain fart. Uh, Scout. Oh, Scout. Brought back Scout. So Scout would have been in a, an insane asylum. And uh, and uh, Atkins was going to be the doctor there. We had a great death for Atkins, a great 3D desk, death involving a, a, an aquarium and a bunch of fish and his severed head. Uh, that was lovely. <laughs> I was going to be in there. I was going to play an orderly and not take my parents off this time. Wow. And uh, we had this great sequence where Michael cuts my head off and he grabs my head and throws it <laughs> at, uh, at somebody. So my head's coming at you in 3d. That would have been fun. So that was a huge regret. Why not didn't, me? Why didn't it happen? Um, we wrote the script I wrote, this, we had it all fleshed out. We knew exactly what it was. I wrote the script in eight days and it was literally every single waking moment. I was right. I slept in my office. I ate in my office. Everything was there. And I was just writing the script for eight days. Patrick, Gary, Tunicliffe, everybody was, people were being hired. Cast was being done. And this was all pre Christmas uh, before we would shoot drive angry in January. So we were trying to wrap the movie before Christmas. So it all had to be done fast. So I wrote the movie, finished the movie, and I actually wrote it. And Patrick went through and, and did his quick polish. And we did that before um, we were supposed to turn it in. I think we turned it in on like a Saturday, and it was supposed to be turned in on a Monday. Had we turned it in on a Monday, we would have never gotten paid. 
because they were going to pull the plug Monday morning. And uh, but we t- we turned it in early, and so there was a struggle. But anyway, the reasoning that that it happened was that um, the Weinstein's were going to run out of money. They were not doing good at the time, and I think Bob had come to Patrick, and, and Patrick has a long history with the Weinstein's editing their movies, and he said, he said, look, we probably are not going to have the money to do this, which means you'll go into production, we will run out of movie. And Drive Angry will get screwed. So you guys will get doubly screwed. You won't get Halloween and you won't get Drive Angry. So you should come back to us after Drive Angry. And and that's it was it was sad, but we, we actually thought we would go back and do it after Drive Angry. We didn't. We ended up working on Hellraiser. I don't know why. Um <laughs> Todd and I talked a little bit about the Halloween three and the Hellraiser scripts that you guys worked on for Miramax. If I recall correctly, the Halloween three script was pretty much either done or you guys knew exactly. Oh, it was what done. It was okay. It was done. We were five, we were five weeks away from shooting. And uh, the, the, you were doing a direct sequel to Rob Zombie's Halloween. Script, yes. Correct. The, the Rob Zombie Halloween movies are divisive with fans, mm-hmm. but I, how on earth were you going to follow up zombies Halloween two? uh our our version at the beginning uh we uh um i you know it literally took place afterwards with uh um like immediately afterwards uh uh and we end up you know that the first the opening is the rest of that night what happens um and then um then we pick up like a year later um, but yeah, and then the year later, you know, the end of that opening sequence is the shape is, is, is in an ambulance that is on fire and falls off the edge of a dam. <laughs> um, and then when you meet him the next year, uh, you, the, the, one of the first scenes you see him is, is he goes into a Halloween store because it was going to be a 3d is he, he, he breaks off the side mirror of somebody's car, which says, you know, objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. And he beats somebody to death with that reflection, <laughs> you know, with the, with the mirror. So you were going to see that smash in the face and you see him grab the old classic uh, William Shatner mask. Um, and then at one point there's a reveal later in the story where somebody rips off the uh, uh the William Shatner mask and you see the old Rob Zombie mask is literally melted into his face. Oh. That Michael Myers no longer exists. He is only the shape. Oh. That he has literally become this other thing. Wow. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Did, yeah. Did you did did uh, Scott Taylor Compton and Tyler Maine were they signed on? Tyler was was going to come back. I, I know they had talked to Scott. I think she was resistant. She had a she had a smaller part in it. We had talked to Eddie Kafegi about being the the cop in it. Um, you know, there was obviously a part for Brad Durant, um, who I'd worked once before in Prophecy, um, and uh, uh, and then we had a new. We had originally talked about you know Scott being the main character throughout, and they the studio had said no we want to put that character in a smaller part and give us another character that we could leap off to at the end if we wanted to do that. So, um, but the, but the end is, you know, there's a Michael Myers or rather the shape and, and, and Laurie Strode are handcuffed together. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a sequence where they break out of the mental hospital and it's, Uh. yeah, it was fun. You know, one of the things I loved about zombies second movie was the nights in white satin right section yeah. you know mm-hmm. and they released that trailer uh which was unofficial oh we're not supposed to release it and they released it anyway because mm-hmm. the moody blues i think had said you're not allowed to use our song as promotion for the movie which they did um <laughs> uh, and there's something about that you know that we loved and thought was really brilliant and so that you know that concept of the two of them handcuffed together that sort of family thing and, her I actually, begging to die. I actually really like um, Zombies Halloween 2. I'm not a big fan of the remake, but I, I actually like Zombies Halloween 2 because that was the movie I was kind of expecting 
with the first one. The first one. Yeah. 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 No, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was an interesting thing when they approached us about doing it and how quickly they wanted it to happen. Um, I think we got the call when we had gone to see Inglorious Bastards afterwards. They called us after that. Uh, Todd and I had gone together. And uh, and then they had wanted to um, to do that in 3D, and we came up with a story. And then there's there's some the, some 3D kills in it that I remember being very excited about. Somebody who gets killed with an iron, you find out that one of the that Laurie's been having an affair with one of the orderlies at the hospital, and and Mike you know, the Michael Myers the shape kills. Kills the orderly as in his girlfriend has been ironing their Halloween costumes. <laughs> Just, <laughs> anyways, it was, it, there was fun, stupid shit in it, but it was fun. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.